For ACUSports.com, I'm Grant Boone. The Wildcats fall to the Arkansas Razorbacks of the SEC 80-68. to We are with junior guard Bree Wright, who went for 18 points, six rebounds, five assists today. Bree, uh, this was a game after you hit a three at the end of the third quarter that was two points going to the fourth quarter. Take me through the emotions of a game against a team like Arkansas. Uh, we prepared all, I don't know, what, three, four days for this game. Uh, we're just really excited to come in and play hard. Um, we were really prepared for this game. We wanted to come out and just compete, and that's exactly what we did. I'm really proud of the effort that everyone put in. Um, it is emotional because we obviously want to win every game. Uh, we, we just played excellent, and it was a team team effort for sure. Down by two through three quarters, how did your team get it done? How did you stay close? Uh, our communication on the court was phenomenal, honestly. Uh, that's one thing that every huddle we went into, uh, Coach Goodenough obviously had some advice, and we turned around and we, hey, hey, keep communicating. We just got to keep it up. That's one thing we really need to focus on. You know, it was a game in which one of your best scores, Michaela Mabry, did not score. She wound up fouling out of the game. But you got massive contributions from, among others, Alyssa Adams. Tell me about Alyssa and what you witnessed from her. Uh, she works hard in practice every day. Uh, our post battle all the time in practice. So it's it's really good to see it come out on the court. Um, she did a good job going and get some good rebounds that we needed and was a huge help. You know, you've been playing in big games your whole career. Uh, you think your first game was against Missouri up on the road against an SEC team uh, just like Arkansas is. I didn't sense from your team any intimidation. Did you feel any? Uh, no, sir. Uh, again, we really came into this game prepared, and when you have a really strong team chemistry and team bond, uh, you're ready to face anything together. Let's talk to your head coach here, Julie Goodenough, who, uh, Coach, you, you lose by a dozen, but uh, it was not for a lack of effort, and your team really was relentless when they were guarding the three-point line. You, you refused to, to take contested shots. You went to the basket, didn't you? Well, you know, when you're game planning, you have to figure out what you're going to take away. And, and obviously their game plan was to try to take away our three-point shots. So that gave up the drives. And, uh, you know, we hit some really tough shots in the paint. We got to the free throw line, especially in the first half, off those drives. Um, you know, I, I thought that our players did a really nice job against a very athletic team. I think they were, you know, by far more athletic in every position. And our players really stood their ground through three quarters you know, 30 minutes of really following through with uh, reading the defense, trying to beat their own players, um, you know, just trying to find the defensive breakdowns and the players that could, could get open shots. Um, we, we knew that we would probably be able to feed our post players because they played behind. And, you know, I thought for the most part, especially Lexi and Alyssa, they really wanted the ball inside. Our guards did a nice job of getting them touches. Um, you know, and it's tough when you're, you're catching in the block uh, and you've got, you know, big, strong, you know, 6'2", six, 6'3", six, behind you. Sometimes it's tough to finish those shots. But uh, I thought our post did a good job fighting for position. I talked to Bree about Alyssa Adams, but what else can you say about Alyssa? Yeah, Alyssa is um, she's uh, she's improved so much this year. She's playing with so much confidence as a sophomore, and you know one of the my favorite jumps um, being a head coach is to watch those freshmen become sophomores. And definitely, she, Michaela and Alyssa are just playing with a lot of confidence. And you know sometimes it takes you getting a season under your belt to truly understand the philosophy of the program and uh, kind of what your role is. Um, Alyssa, is, she has done a really nice job of not trying to do too much, but just trying to, you know, do enough to either get her own shot or, or um, get a teammate opened up. Um, but I, I thought Melissa played, or Alyssa did a great job today. I, I combine their names a lot. Michaela and Alyssa, they know <laughs> the who I'm talking about. Yes. Yeah, I say Melissa. Yeah, um, or Kayla. And uh, so, anyway, they're, they complement one another well. And um, I think that we're good when they're on the floor together. Mm. And we just, we had a hard time doing that tonight. You know, Lexi was in a little bit of foul trouble, and then Michaela. Um, uh, proceeded to foul out but uh, it would have helped us I think if we'd had those three all available mm. um, for 40 minutes. Let me go back to something you told me before the game when we were doing the halftime uh, interview of the men's game. You, you talked about Lexi Duque's 25 point game against Shriner and acknowledged yes that's a division three opponents she played but you thought it could lead to something bigger. This is the first game since she goes for 17. She played hard I thought. She did. She played really tough and it was a tough matchup. I mean, really there was tough. definitely bigger, faster, stronger playing behind her. And for her to be able to score um, over a really nice post player, uh, you know, I think that's a, a credit to just her focus and her confidence and her post moves and really proud of her, even just wanting the ball as much as she did today. And our guards did a nice job getting the ball to her. Well, uh, I spoke with Coach Mike Neighbors before the game for Arkansas, and he said, if not for my respect for Julie Goodenough, we probably would have bought this game out. It was set before he got to Arkansas, just his second year. And he said, but because of how I think about her, I guess he first coached against you. Maybe he was at Tulsa and you were at Oklahoma State. Uh, this was a huge day, wasn't it? And the crowd was great, and it was a great game. I mean, you, 
other than the final score, there was a lot that went well about today, didn't it? It, it was really, uh, it was a great day, and it was a great week leading up to this game. Lots of excitement, lots of talk on our campus about Christmas Lamb and about Arkansas coming to town. And uh, credit our game day people. How did they get it to snow for Christmas Lamb? I'm perfect. not sure how that happened. That was just perfect. Might have kept a few people away, but the people who came, I think that um, they were proud of their team today. Uh, standing ovation at the end was pretty cool. That was um, good. Yeah, glad to see all the fans come out. It was awesome. Well, it was a great day for Abilene Christian. It was a great day for Abilene, Texas. Uh, and though the final score went Arkansas's way, uh, I, I think you saw uh, in – you can hear it in the voice of Julie Goodenough. You could see it in the fans' faces. A big day for ACU. They fall to Arkansas 80-68. to By the way, you have a couple of huge non-conference games coming up. You go to Florida Gulf Coast, then go to Texas Tech. I mean, this was you – can, you can relax a bit today, but you got a lot of work, don't you? We do. Uh, you know, the first three or four days of the week are obviously about finals, and then yeah. we'll start talking about our next opponent. Okay. Big day here in Abilene, Texas. Arkansas gets it done 80-68 to over Abilene Christian at Moody Coliseum.